munchkins and viewers alike. It's me, Munchie, and welcome back to a food review. I haven't done one of these in such a long time. We're gonna be reviewing pure, or puree. Actually, no, it's not puree. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's, it's definitely pure. Well, I mean, we don't know if it's pure. I mean, you know these hamster companies, they say that their food's healthy and great source of whatever, and then we realize that, oh, that's just a load of, until we actually look into it. Even though some of these companies have really nice packaging, they say they're for these types of animals, are they indeed healthy for that specific species? So just like with human food, not all food is deemed appropriate for us. We can eat it, but it's not good for our diets. <laughs> so today we're reviewing this for hamsters just for their diets. This is not a gerbil formula, so we're not gonna be reviewing it under gerbils. I realized that I should start reviewing some of these items as gerbil and hamster food right there. So we will be reviewing it as such. So let's talk about the crude analysis on the back because this is very important. Hamsters, especially Syrian hamsters, need at least 18% crude protein. Anywhere between five to 10 for fat and then for fiber, it should be, I believe, eight to 15, where eight's like the low end, 15 is the max end. So this one says crude protein, 13%. So that's 5% under what we are trying to aim for. This one also has 6.5% fat, which is not bad at all. That's within the range of how much fats they should have. And then for the fiber, 9%, which is also in the range of which they need. Let's talk about the first ingredients because that is very key. Usually when you see the first ingredients with any sort of food list, that is what's in it the most. Now there is ingredient splicing where basically they will have, say for instance, corn, but they have different variants of corn, but it's still corn. So let's actually see what's in this food. This one says corn meal, so corn supply first one, unfortunately, because you guys are aware corn is a filler, so if that's what it's mainly got in here, that's a little bit on the, oh no, not good part. But oats, wheat, pea flakes, buckwheat, oat flakes, wheat flakes, sunflower seed meal, alfalfa meal, which is hay. They're not really a hay-based diet, but at least this alfalfa meal is not at the very top, but it is in the first column of the ingredients. And then afterwards, you have patty rice, sunflower seeds, dried carrots, etc. This seems like a pretty good good diet. It's got a lot of oats and wheats at the first ingredient, but then when I scroll down, there is other corn. We got corn germ, and then I think there was one other, yeah, corn flour, so a lot of corns in this. Also, this does contain a lot of sugars, but it's natural sugars. They're not adding molasses where you would typically see that in some lower grade formulas, but they have like apples. This contains raisins, which is actually a safe food for hamsters, but because it contains sugar, don't be feeding raisins a whole lot for your hamster. And if you guys are unaware, check out the Ontario Hamster Club because they have a really good and complete list of what is safe and what isn't safe for your hamsters. There's also banana and papaya. Because this does contain it, but it contains it kind of in the middle, there is still a good amount of sugar inside of here. But unfortunately, in the analysis, there's no sugar listing. And I really wish they would just because because there is so many companies that sneak in sugars and you don't wanna accidentally be feeding your hamster so much sugar because they could become hypoglycemic and they could have sugar crashes, sugar highs, etc., where you might find your animal to be wobbling the next day and it almost looks like a seizure, but it is due to a sugar condition because afterwards they completely heal, they get better. There is one that is for a lot of sugar and then there's one for not enough sugar. So hopefully in this video, I did use the correct one. Me, as an editor, say yes or no. Okay, thank you. There is also dried buffalo worms, and I think that is mealworms. So if you see on the package, dried buffalo worms, I don't think it's anything special. I literally think it is a mealworm. You see mealworms right here. Just by looking at this without actually opening it, there is a lot of raw ingredients, which is a plus. You don't wanna give your hamster a bunch of the same ingredients because they don't have a lot of variety. Give your hamster variety, especially if you are gonna be purchasing a commercial mix. And as a verdict, this is just pretty much an average seed mix. However, it does not contain enough protein, so a lab block must be supplemented with this diet. This has no dyes, no preservatives. Corn and sugar is present though, so just be cautious. But for me, for Munchie's recommendation, there is better stuff out there. So you don't need to be purchasing this unless you wanna get them a different type of variety for which mealworms or buffalo worms. We don't see that in other seed mixes. So honestly, 
average, but I would choose elsewhere because of that protein value. We need to open up this bag. It smells really interesting. I like the scent in a good way. It smells very earthy. And let's just check out with a scoop of my hand what it looks like. So depending on when the food expires, your food might be very fresh looking. It might be looking a little dull. So keep coloration in mind. However, everything in here looks very natural. And I like that. It definitely looks like what you see on the cover, but I'm not seeing any mealworms when I just scoop this. Huh, wow. Okay, so there's just a lot of seeds and oats. Oh, they're really tiny. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize they were so tiny. On the package, they make them look huge, but in here, they're tiny little things. Look how tiny that is compared to the package. Like, you can't even see it. Can you, can you guys kind of see it there? You can see it there. That's the size of it? No way. Because when you're looking at the package right here, it looks much bigger than what you're seeing right here. Like, I could probably scoop some more. Hold on. Let me, let me dig deep. I'll do the deep one. God, they're so tiny. This is way smaller than the treats that I buy individually when it comes to mealworms. But maybe it's just buffalo worms are smaller than mealworms, but I swear I thought buffalo worms were mealworms. They look exactly like it. But yeah, that's just, that's tiny compared to everything else. That's nothing. Maybe I got a bad batch, who knows? But I'm starting to be a little bit cautious about this food. So what do you guys think? Have you actually been feeding your hamster this? And hopefully if you have been feeding them, use a lap lock, but tell me how your hamster likes this food. So leave comments down below. And thank you guys so much. If you want to see any sort of food analysis in the future from me, or want to check out what the rescue's doing, subscribe to the channel and become a part of our Munchkin family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.